So this is my first YouTube video. I have been asked a couple times on my Instagram account if I was going to do any videos about my Goldies or like product reviews. So I'm going to try. We'll see if it works or not. Um, had goldfish 18 years, I think. I got my first goldfish when I was two years old um, from the local Walmart. And I've had goldfish pretty much ever since. Um, I had two from Walmart there in a 20 gallon tank. Um, their names were Johnny and Roy. Um, some of you probably are too young to remember the show. But um, there used to be a show on TV called Emergency 911. Um, it was about um, ambulance drivers, I think. Um, the two guys that I was like obsessed with, their names were Johnny and Roy. And that's how they got their names. They were fantail goldfish and they were, they were orange to begin with. And then when they got older, they started turning white, and they were completely solid white. Um, I thought that they were sick when I was younger because I didn't know that goldfish can change colors, but they can. And they were healthy, healthy, happy and healthy in their tank. And they lived. Uh, Roy actually died. I think when he was 10 years old, I think, and Johnny lived until he was 13 or 14 years old. So I had him a long, long time. And when they died, I was quite um, upset, I guess. I stopped keeping fish when Johnny died. I was like heartbroken. I'd had him a really long time. I think he died when I was a junior in high school, so I had him like a long, long time. Um, so I got rid of the tank and everything that went with it and I stopped. And um, I think my mother was really happy that I did because she hated cleaning it. <laughs> um, but you know, whatever. So I, I quit and I stopped. Um, keeping goldfish for a couple years. Um, I graduated high school. I started college. I was uh, I'm a nursing student and that's really stressful. I am in the top nursing school in the state and it is extremely competitive and it makes you want to cry <laughs> and um, have nervous breakdowns and that's just how it is they really want to stress you out to see if you can handle it and last July I think a friend of ours was wanting to get rid of a um, 30 gallon tank with tetras and they couldn't keep up with it anymore and they were just kind of wanting to find it a good home and I kind of thought about it and I wasn't sure if I wanted to or not but I ended up getting it so that kind of started the um, obsession again and then I realized that I really really loved keeping fish and then once I got them I was like obsessed and I mean Tetras, they don't really have like as much of a personality as um, goldfish, but I still love them anyway. And I got in November, PetSmart uh, was having a Black Friday sale and they had a Marineland um, ensemble tank. It was 60 gallons and I got it. Uh, for I think like $150, which was like pretty dang awesome. So I got it and I brought it home and I got it cycling and all that jazz and I actually had some of the Tetras in it. And uh, um, in January, 
I got my first two goldfish, um, Bernard and Josephine. They are Ryukin, and I had them, I still have them, well, I have Josephine. Bernard, unfortunately, had swim bladder disease, and I actually ended up having to euthanize him um, in March, which was something that I had never done, and I don't want to do it again, which I don't think any goldfish keeper wants to, you know, have to put down any, anything they own, but he was suffering pretty, pretty significantly, and I didn't want to put him through any, any more pain than he already had been through, so I used the clove oil method, and he went peacefully. Um, Josephine um, went through a depression. She would not eat or, I mean, she sat in the corner. She wasn't responsive to me at all, which was, you know, unusual for her because she's actually pretty, pretty peppy usually. And um, so I actually ended up going out that, that night uh, to PetSmart and I found an amazing Aranda. Um, he was just gorgeous. Um, and I brought him home and I named him Knight. He is her knight in shining armor. And um, they got along very, very well. And they are still like the best of friends, which is hilarious. And I believe it was April or the end of March of this year. I was returning something to PetSmart and they had just got a um, new shipment of goldfish in and I had been dying to have a black goldfish dying and they had a gorgeous black Aranda fantail um, and I immediately was like she is mine put her in a bag she's going home with me so um, Black Beauty came home. That was what her name was. She was adorable. Um, she was turned out to be blind. Um, so she's one of my um, special needs goldfish. That's what I call them and my dad thinks it's hilarious. But she is and I usually hand feed her. Um, but she does, she's done so so good um, until recently because um, Knight began to bully her for some reason. I'm not really sure what happened there. Uh, but I got home a couple days ago and my mom's like, you need to get her out of there. Um, he will not leave her alone. He's like pushing her into the glass and the ornaments. And I was so afraid that um, she was gonna get hurt. So I moved her to my other 60 gallon. That's right, I got two. <laughs> um, of the same aquarium. I put her in the other one, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, and then in April, I got, I went to my local uh, fish store and um, they had got a new shipment of Arandas and Ryukin and they were pretty small. They were still kind of babies. And I ended up picking two because, you know, once you start, you can't stop. So I got um, a baby Aranda, um, who is orange and black, I think, and which is now turning gray, but um, his name is Comet, and he is my little flash baby. Um, he is one of my other special needs goldfish. He has, uh, he's actually missing a tail, which was part of a, a cosmetic issue. I mean, it was like a birth defect thing. He, it doesn't slow him down at all. I mean, he can like out swim any other fish in there. And you, he doesn't even know that he's missing a tail. Um, and he's quite spunky too. Um, and then I got Lucy. She is a Ryukin baby. She's orange and white. Um, and she has red lips, like me. <laughs> Um, and I called her Lucy, and she is, um, like a sassy, sassy little girl. Um, she tends to bother Knight sometimes, <laughs> um, but he doesn't, 
he doesn't like chase her or anything, which I think is weird, but maybe he knows she's a baby, I don't know. Um, so after that tank was set up, um, a few months ago, like not a month ago, yeah, it was a month ago, I went to PetSmart and I'd really, really been thinking about getting another aquarium. And they had the same aquarium that I bought in November. And I bought it again because I love it so much. <laughs> um, and I had been really, really wanting some butterfly telescope. Like I had been crazy about these fish and I never had any, you can't buy them around here. I mean, Kentucky is kind of the not so nice place to buy fish from because it's just not a popular thing here. Um, but we couldn't, I couldn't find them here. And I ended up uh, getting them from King Koi Goldfish in California. Um, but when I bought the tank, I bought a black moor. I had never had one, and they were just so cute. And um, my dad had one, I think, uh, before he married my mom. And it passed away, like, right after they got married. And he was kind of always wanting one. So I let him have it. He named it Spike. I do not know why, but, you know, okay, <laughs> I let him get away with it, but it's named Spike, and, and I let it kind of help cycle my tank a little bit, and then, um, you know, after I got the Black Moor, I, I decided that uh, King Koi on Instagram uh, was showing that they had some new butterfly telescopes, and they were $25.00 buy two get one free. So I reached out to them and they were amazing with their um, customer service and I picked out a Calico um, butterfly telescope and her name is Cleo and I got a um, red white butterfly telescope and her name is Queenie and I got a red and black butterfly telescope and her name is Jojo. So, that was, there was four goldfish in there at that time. And then when night started, you know, harassing Beauty, I couldn't, I didn't have anywhere to put her at the time other than this tank. And so I knew that my ammonia was going to, you know, spike. But I, I wasn't going to let her get hurt. She was, you know, somewhat special to me. They get along so well. Um, they think of her as their mom, I think, because they like follow her around all the time. It's like the cutest thing. Um, so that's, that's those. That's all my goldfish. Recently, um, bought a beta fish, which is super new to me. I've never had beta fish in my life, but I had a 10 gallon that had kind of been sitting around and, you know, fish keepers, it's addicting, I'm telling you. But I got a beta fish. His name is Flame. Him, he is quite uh, spunky, um, which I love. When people ask me if I have any kids, they ask my parents that all the time. If they have any grandchildren, I'm like, yeah, totally. You know, they have about 21. <laughs> And so, um, my parents want to kill me when I say that, but, um, I love them like they are my children. They keep me calm, and it was amazing how, um, the aquariums helped me in my health. I've never been, like, a super healthy person. I was born early. Um, I've always had the premature curse, I think. Um, my lungs weren't developed. I have, like, chronic asthma. Um, high blood pressure, I have all kinds of weird things, but when I started keeping the fish again, my blood pressure dropped, and it's like excellent now. I don't have anxiety anymore. If you like the video, and if there's anything you want me to talk about or see, then drop a comment, okay?